Chief Operating Officer here for the Williams Center. I'm here with a patient today to share a story um, of which I haven't really had the pleasure of meeting this patient, this patient of Dr. Polonesis, who underwent a surgical procedure with Dr. Polonese. And so I want to thank you so much uh, for being here with us today. And so um, can you tell me what procedure that um, you had? Um, I had a heart repair. Um, okay. I don't know the procedure, the actual procedure. Okay. But you repaired the hernia. Um, and it was an abdominal hernia? Yes, yeah, an abdominal hernia. Um, it originally started back in 2008. Mm -hmm. um, I had the first one done. And then it came back a year later. And um, I had to repair it again. And it came back two months later, and that's what led me to Dr. Bonnie's. So you had um, previous surgeries with other surgeons for this abdominal hair hernia that failed. And so, how did you find Dr. Bonnie's? Um, I actually went to um, I was referred to a surgeon in Albany Med, okay. um, which who referred me to Dr. Bonnie's, and that's how I. Come and so when um, when you had these surgeries um, and they failed, what did the physicians tell you at that point in time? Um, well, that we could try it again. Okay. And sometimes it didn't always take. Um, but after the third one, um, my wife finally said we need to go see somebody else. <laughs> so and what made it different? What did Dr. Polonese do different that other surgeons didn't do? Um, the, the, uh, he had put the, um, the saline bags, uh, he went in and then so stretched the, the, um, he stretched the lining yeah. of, um, of the abdominal muscle. And then he, um, yeah, he did that for, I think, uh, eight weeks. So you had, um, if this was a staged procedure where you had yeah. two separate procedures done. So first he stretched the muscle. Yeah, he stretched the muscle. And I had to come back once a week to have the sailing with him for eight weeks. Mm -hmm. And then we scheduled the actual army repair. Okay. Which, um, um, he, this was the best best. And did he reinforce the wall? Yes. With the with mesh. With an alloderm or stratus? Yes, in between the muscle. Mm -hmm. And then, um, and I'm not sure if he did another one over that or not. And so, how long has it been that um, this hernia repair was done? By Dr. Collins. By Dr. Collins. Um, it's been 10 months. And, and I've been back to work full time. You know, great. Back to my regular activities. And what kind of work is it? Physical work that you physical do? Physical work, you know, lifting. So you weren't able to do that? No. So you were basically going to be out of work because you were unable, they were unable to repair the hernia? Yeah. If it had come to me not being able to get it fixed. Oh, that's wonderful. I'm so happy for you. Me too. And um, what about the pain? Was there much pain would have happened? Um, Each procedure? A, very little. I mean, um, with the, uh, when they put the saline bags in, very little pain. Mm -hmm. um, the, the actual hernia repair was a little sore at the times, but it wasn't nothing I couldn't handle. Yeah. Well, I, I really thank you for sharing this story. Um, other patients, there are many patients that have had failed attempts of uh, hernia repairs, and um, this is a unique way that Dr. Polonese was trained and um, he's had much success with it so it's important for other people who have had failed attempts to know that there's hopefully some hope out there that there is um, a procedure that could help them. Yes. So, um, well, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank Dr. Polonese. Okay.